how different is the accounting and auditing in the public sector versus the private sector? So, you know, as you know, I've, I've sort of started looking into, into some of the stuff and, and there are some, obviously there's a lot of, you know, overlaps and there's, you know, obviously, but there are yeah. some interesting differences. So how different, how different is it really in terms of, you know, accounting and auditing public versus, versus private? Like how significant are those differences? Yeah. So, so, I mean, firstly, the, the, the principles really are the same. Um, and, 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 you know, overall, uh, you know, if you know, if you've learned accounting in, in the you know, private sector accounting, IFRS, you can learn the equivalent in, in the public sector. We, we do have our own standards, but right. those standards are, tend to be based on, on uh, the standards from the private sector. Um, so, so it's not a, a huge jump. Um, in terms of the actual, you know, the, the core skills that you've got from, from you know, specifically, uh, you know, accounting and auditing. Those, right. those standards look quite similar. Although I would say that what tends to happen is in public sector accounting and auditing, we go a bit further than the sort of traditional practice. So, for example, in the auditing space where most of what you would do in the private sector is about doing financial audits. Uh, you know, auditing the yes. financial statement. Right, 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 right. Um, we, we actually have three concepts in, in, in the, the uh, public sector community. Um, we have financial audit, but then we've also got performance auditing and compliance auditing, which are yeah. different disciplines. Similar principles, <laughs> again, yeah. but they have a particular focus that, that relates to issues that we have in the public sector. Um, on the reporting side, we have our own, um, you know, standards uh, in South Africa. It's called GRAP. Um, or, or in, in central government have something called the modified cash standard, but but uh, globally we have something called IPSAS. Yeah. But what's interesting with the reporting, those those standards tend to not be drastically different, but from what you would know. But the the reporting again can go further. So if you pick up a, a annual report of a, a, you know department or public entity in South Africa, you're not just going to see the financials. Right. You're going to see also. Um, performance information that describes, um, you know, the actual service delivery that was done by, by, okay. the, by the entity. Okay. And there's a whole framework around how you report those okay. things. Right. Um, in fact, in many senses, things like integrated reporting and such are actually learning oh, from some yeah. of the practices that, right. that we've had in the public sector for a long yeah. time. This is an example where, where, although we sometimes think about, you know, public sector being kind of behind and archaic, and in some yeah. senses that's true, but in yeah. other areas, it's an incredibly innovative and forward thinking space. Okay. Um, it's just that there's different focuses. So, yeah. so at the standards level, it's not drastically different. You can, if you know the one, you can learn the other. Um, yeah. what, what I would say is quite different um, is, is two particular areas. First of all, kind of the way government operates. Yeah. So the whole, we have this concept called public financial management, which really speaks about everything about how um, public funds are, are, are budgeted, managed, um, accounted for, audited, and, and yeah. um, the accountability that happens after that. Um, and, and that whole process is just quite different, and, and you need a particular skill set to be able to operate in it. So as an example, the budget, uh, we're going to hear the budget speech uh, you know, yes. shortly after this video happens, um, or after we record. Uh, the, the budget is actually a piece of legislation. So after... Tito Mboweni gives his budget speech that, that the information, he's effectively summarizing what's going into legislation right. that says right. these particular departments can spend this amount of money and right. this is what they're allowed to spend it on. So you have to stick to that. But of course, there's a whole process you can learn about how you can influence that ahead of time so okay. that you, you ensure that your, your particular uh, organization that you're working yeah. for gets what, what they need. Okay. Um, so it's just, it's just a different way of operating. And, and then the other side of it is, is, I'd say, the kind of soft skills or what we call in, in accounting education the behavioral skills, okay. right, yeah. um, are, are different. Uh, so it's, you know, a lot of it has to do with, with managing a big variety of stakeholders. So you're not just reporting to shareholders, you're actually reporting to everyone in the country. Um, you have many people who are interested in the, in, in, in the work you're doing. You have politicians who are trying mm -hmm. to drive the, 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 their you know, policies yeah, and, and the, yeah. the party that they represent, yeah. um, and rightly so, and you need to listen to them and understand what drives them. You need to understand the needs of your, your fellow civil servants. You need to understand the expectation of civil society. And so the, the ability to kind of work with a wide range of stakeholders and to work in an environment that is much more regulated, a lot of legislation yeah. that drives the way you do things in government, um, you know, be able to work within that space and still innovate uh, yeah. in spite I feel like restrictions. 
that's kind of the real skill set you need. But that comes with practice, and you're not going to learn that at, at university. No. But but some people are just better at that kind of thing than others. And 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 it could be that that you know for some of your students, especially those who feel like they they're passionate and want to make a difference, um, you know, they could develop those skills and really have a have quite an impactful career. Um, yeah. By applying that. So yeah. I think in short, what I want to say is that there is a lot to learn about the public sector as with any sector. Yeah. Uh, but, but, you know, your, your CA qualification is going to give you a great foundation um, on what to build. And as you said, no matter what, what sort of field you go into, there's stuff to learn. Right. Um, you know, yeah. in our field, there's a lot, and it, I won't. I'm not going to lie. It's it's not uh, it's not small, but but that comes with time, and that's that's part of our you know just gaining knowledge that other people might not have, and that yeah. makes you valuable. A valuable resource makes you uh, uh, you know perfect for opportunity 